Hello and welcome to Hazel Technologies. Today we are going to learn how to configure GoDaddy Mail in Outlook. So for that we just uh, need to understand that whatever your domain name is, let's suppose xyz.com and that is hosted on GoDaddy and you have taken the email plan from the GoDaddy. So you require few things. First thing is that the incoming server. So you don't need to use pop.xyz.com. You need to always add pop.secureserver.net and then the port number. So by default, the port number is 110 or with SSL. If you are using SSL certificate, a secured server layer, then you need to put it at 995. In the same way for the outgoing server, we required SMTP out secure server uh, sorry it is a mistake mistake here that is secure server dot net so and port number by default that uh, there is a 25 but you need to put it 80 if you are using uh, without SSL and if you are using uh, with SSL then the port number will be uh, 465 and the incoming port will be 995 so let's see how we are going to uh, do that so so uh, here uh, I do have this click here and put next it's saying that do you want to set up an outlook to connect an email account we have option yes so just click yes so uh, today the newer version of office we do have email address if you would buy manually no so you have to click manually here if you want to that Outlook automatically configure from where your email is hosting and from where you, which plan you are using. You just need to put it everything here. But right now I'm using a manual one. So how it's going to be do? So I just need to click here the manual one here. Manual and then uh, next. It's asking for Microsoft Exchange Server, Outlook or anything else. And then we do have this POP or IMF. So we are using POP and then click next. So first it is going to ask you your name. So I'm putting my name here. Ahmed and email address. So right now I'm not using configuring my email address. I'm, and I'm configuring one of the ID we have created for that is BDM at the rate is it IELS.com. Now again, it's asking for the server. So if you see here, I have already put up here. So here in the incoming server, you need to write down pop dot secure server dot net, and again here SMTP SMTP stand for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol out dot secure server dot net. And here you need to write your name, username, the complete email address you have to write here. And put your password. So before uh, continuing it, uh, you just need to do a little settings here. So just go and more settings. And here, uh, you know, there are two kind of things. Uh, one is the new outlook data file and another one is the existing outlook data file so what is existing data file if already you were using your outlook and now you have formatted your pc but you do have your backup of your psd files somewhere so you don't want to create a new psd already the psd is running you just want to edit the same thing in that so if you have the browse otherwise uh, new so if you want to learn that also so in my next video you can learn that how we can add uh, the older psd in your new account so just click here and next now sorry just go to more settings here and uh, you have to go to outgoing server use my outgoing server smtp now go to the advanced in here by default the pop3 is 110 and that you have to put it this server required an encrypted connection if you are using SSL that this value is going to change see 995 then you have to use here 465 and then you have to put it the security SSL but we are using default so it is 110 and here you have to put it not 25 but the 80 the port number 80 and the delivery 
leave a copy of message on the server definitely and remove the server from for after 14 days so if you want to remove your mails from server you can you can put it any day one day or let's suppose 20 days 30 day so it will keep you your mails on server and then automatically delete it so let's suppose that we having only 100 MB of space or 200 MB of space so we are not putting uh, much mail over our server because we don't have uh, the space problem that is why we are using outlook so that at uh, we can store a lot of mails in our system uh, creating PSD and then later we we can increase it to 1 GB 2 GB or 3 GB but uh, where we do have a limited space over the server so if you want that automatically it should be deleted from the server then you use the number of the days uh, when the possible of the number of days you will be downloading if you don't want to uh, delete from the server so remove this and manually you can delete from your server so i'm going to delete manually from my server and i'm going to okay it and then i'm going to press next now it will test the connection if you want to test the connection here only you can test the connection otherwise we have to do twice uh, for uh, your confirmation i'm going to uh, do it the same action so test your connection if it will be okay here you will see the complete sign right and in the same way if your incoming is okay but if outgoing have a problem so it will show you the error so don't worry about the errors if you will see the error so definitely there is a possibility of the port so you can change the ports uh, you can put it the outgoing port uh, to 995 or using ssl securities but now it's okay so just close it and click next now the same process will happen again now close it and that's it all we are set now finish you'll see we are going to receive the mails the mails have a lot of mails 255 mails and it's downloading so where you can see the mails in your inbox So this is the first mail the test mail which uh, we have performed from there this is the email sent automatically by microsoft outlook while testing the setting for your account so guys these are the mails which is downloading and these are a lot in the numbers so this was the simply how we have configured our godaddy host thread email account in our outlook and in future i'm going to create a video how to configure your gmail or yahoo mail on your outlook and then in my next video i'm going to show you how to use mail merge uh, sending a number of the mails uh, to uh, your known one by their name because uh, right now what we used to do that uh, we used to keep in cc and put to ourselves and everyone is bcc and then send to mail but now uh, in my next video i'm going to show you how to send mail personally so guys thank you so much for watching this video please like and subscribe our channel thank you so much